Hi, I'm Igor Vasilovich, a student at the Toyota Technological Institute at Chicago, uh, presenting our joint work with the Toyota Research Institute on full surround mono depth from multiple cameras. In recent years, uh, self-supervised learning has emerged as kind of the framework for depth and pose estimation and has surpassed fully supervised methods uh, on major benchmarks. These benchmark data sets, even though they generally have multi-camera rigs, um, are only used in terms of monocular data, so only the forward-facing camera is typically used, and the remaining generally 80% of image data is ignored in terms of the depth evaluation. Um, this may be because of the low overlap between cameras uh, on most of these multi-camera rigs that precludes the stereo methods, and also the high self-occlusion on non-forward-facing cameras that uh, are a major challenge for self-supervised learning. In this paper, we propose a method to leverage cross-camera constraints uh, to train on the full data, enabling scaled, aligned, full 360 degree predictions from image data alone with uh, absolutely no post-processing. Um, so what happens if we naively train on the non-forward facing sequences? Uh, you, you get something like the sequence on the right. Uh, the car body self-occlusion uh, causes the depth network to produce relatively poor estimates, uh, dramatically worse in terms of the quantitative evaluation, so 0.44 abstral versus 0.18 abstral on the, on, for the forward-facing data. And also, if you use the predicted depth maps from all the, different, from all the cameras, train them this way, and unproject them to point clouds, the resulting point cloud is seriously misaligned, and so it's not really possible to use uh, this data without some heavy post-processing in terms of 360-degree um, depth estimation. So our first solution to this problem is masking. Uh, we create masks for um, all of the cameras on the rig that have any kind of self-occlusion. And then we can train um, a self depth and pose network uh, just by mixing in data from different cameras with no cross-camera constraints. And we get relatively good depth estimates for non-forward-facing cameras. So, and we even see some degree of in-painting. So because we're mixing data from different cameras and the forward-facing camera has no self-occlusion, we see the depth networks kind of in paint underneath the um, uh, self-occlusion of the ego vehicle, uh, which kind of results in some, some in interestingly smooth depth estimates uh, for cameras that even have a large degree of um, overlap from the vehicle. Uh, our second solution, and this is what allows us to really predict uh, a single point cloud from uh, multiple images, is the spatiotemporal photometric loss. Um, so this is our kind of principle here was, let's see if we can treat cameras on the rig in a similar way to how we treat neighboring temporal frames. Uh, so for typical depth and pose learning, the context consists of the previous frame and, and the next frame, uh, so temporally adjacent frames. Here we also introduce the notion of uh, spatially adjacent frames, uh, where we use the known extrinsics between cameras on the rig as the pose uh, for those the context frames, and train then uh, for every single frame, we, the context includes temporal and spatial context, and this allows us to uh, endow the depth network with scale, and so now the depth predictions are metrically scaled thanks to the ground truth extrinsics, and also we'll see that the point clouds uh, predicted by dip different depth uh, dip different from different images are now aligned. And we can see this quantitative, qualitatively here, where we are predicting six independent depth maps using the extrinsics then to reproject those depth maps out into the world, and we get uh, one single dense 360 degree point cloud uh, with absolutely no uh, post processing or any kind of alignment after the fact necessary. Uh, quantitatively, we get a large improvement on the standard DDAD benchmark which is only uh, evaluating on the forward-facing camera. So despite the fact that we have no new um, data for the forward-facing camera, allowing us to train on the full data set uh, gives us a, a large, about 20% improvement over the uh, next best self-supervised baseline. Uh, but also, maybe more importantly, we have dramatic improvements for depth estimation on all, other, all the other cameras, the cameras for which uh, this kind of naive self-supervised learning without the masking and the spatiotemporal constraints gives very poor, basically unusable depth estimates. Now the, the, uh, the metrics are much closer to the, uh, the forward-facing camera, which is kind of the, the nicest, cleanest data with no self-occlusion. Uh, thank you for your attention.